we are going to control this relay with an Arduino Nano. To control high voltage and high power circuits with an Arduino, you have to isolate them from the Arduino with a relay. A relay consists of an electromagnet that, once energized, causes a switch to open or close. For this tutorial, you're going to need a 5 volt relay module and an Arduino. Any type of Arduino will do, and I'm going to use the DM DIY More Nano Clone. You're also going to need a table lamp or an old light. This is going to be high voltage, so be careful while wiring, and some jumper cables to connect it all together. The wiring diagram itself is relatively simple. You connect ground to ground, 5 volts to VCC, and the control pin for the signal is to pin 7 on the Arduino. On the high voltage side, we're going to split the live wire and connect one to common and one to normally open. Now I'm going to connect wires to the relay, starting with the ground pin, the VCC 5 volt pin, and the in for signal in. I adapt my jumper cables by stripping back the ends to reveal the copper strands before soldering the tips in order to keep them together and create a better electrical contact. Once complete, we can make the connections on the Arduino. We can now terminate the connections on the Arduino Nano. First we connect the jumper cable from the 5 volt supply pin on the Arduino Nano to the VCC pin on the relay. Next we connect a jumper cable from the ground pin on the Arduino Nano to the ground pin on the relay. Finally a signal wire is added, so in my selection I'm using pin 7 which is going to connect to the input pin on the relay. Now just to do a quick recap, we've connected three jumper cables from the Arduino Nano to this relay breakout board. Orange is VCC to 5 volts on the Arduino Nano, yellow is ground to the ground pin on, on the Arduino Nano, and finally brown is the input signal wire which is going to be connected to pin 7 on the Arduino Nano. So this is the pin that's going to go high and low to control the relay. So let's power up our circuit, open the Arduino IDE, upload a script and control the relay. It's a relatively basic script this. First we initialize relay 1 to be equal to 7, so that's pin 7. Then in the setup loop, the serial communications is defined at a baud rate of 9600. We set the relay 1 pin as an output and we set it high. Then in the loop, the pin output of relay 1 is turned to low. The word on is printed in the serial monitor and then the device is put to sleep for 3 seconds or 3000 milliseconds. High is then written to relay 1. The word off is printed to the serial monitor and this is followed by another 3 second delay. At this point we will upload the sketch to the Arduino Nano by clicking upload. This compiles the sketch and uploads it to the board. Once the upload is complete you will immediately see the green LED toggling on and off as the signal has been received from the Arduino at 3 second intervals. Now that we've got the relay working, we can use it to switch a high voltage load, such as a light. First, plug out your light. Make sure it's disconnected from the high voltage supply. Next, you're going to make a small incision into the cable. And from here, you want to remove the outer sheet back about 25mm or an inch on each end. Once the sheet is paired back and you've exposed the two inner cables, snip the brown cable, which in Ireland is the live, and operates at 230 volts AC. Pair back the inner sheet, the brown material, approximately 5 millimeters on each end. This is to allow the cable to be terminated within the relay using the screw terminals. Before we screw in these connections, 
please notice, although this is a single channel relay, you have both normally open and normally closed contacts. You can see this from the diagram on the back of the relay. I tend to wire to the normally open relay. In the event of an emergency where power is lost, the relay fails to a normally open position. The common is used for both the normally open and normally closed contacts. Once the terminations have been screwed in, we're ready to reconnect the Arduino Nano and give it a test. So reconnecting the jumper cables. And next, powering up the Arduino Nano. You can see the relay begins to work immediately as the program has already been compiled and uploaded to the Arduino Nano previously in the video. So every three seconds, the light switches from on to off and then off to on. That's been another successful demonstration, this time of a relay circuit, brought to you by Mishmash Labs. Thanks for watching and please subscribe. Karmila Magat.